With the cloud of fake tickets hovering overhead, thousands of fans packed the CenturyLink Center tonight to see the nation's hottest concert tour roll into Omaha. Good evening, I'm Craig DeGrelli. And I'm Jennifer Griswold. The first of Taylor Swift's two sold-out shows took place tonight, with many still wondering if they were holding bogus tickets. Reporter Kelly Bartnick is live downtown at the CenturyLink Center with this story, new at 10 on KMTV. Kelly, what did you see? Jenny Swift took the stage at about 8.30 tonight. The concert is still going on here at the CenturyLink Center. It is a sold out concert and you're exactly right. Many people we've talked to this week bought bogus tickets from scammers. Tonight we talked with concert goers and we were in there and saw the show go on. Even when you have a guaranteed ticket, the line begins early. Because uh, we have to be the first ones inside. It's so exciting. These fans made special trips for this from all over. They are ready to take a trip back to 1989 with pop star Taylor Swift. Her music just speaks to me. <laughs> I can vouch for that because I've asked him off camera enough. <laughs> there are all ages. I am very outnumbered. I think I'm the second guy in line. So. Here for girls nights and birthdays. Dad hooked us up pretty good. I would say very super fanny. Yeah, I have a sign that actually says clean as well. The young ones have no idea of the ticket scams even out there. Can I have a number three What's that? shirt? What size? Uh, use large. Yeah. The older ones worried they might be unlucky ones. Uh, I was in a panic and she was in a panic. Then happy they're not. I gave the thumbs up and we were good to go. We watched this family with tickets clearly upset take out their credit cards at the window just after the doors opened. Then they joined the others in the concert bowl. At the hottest show in Omaha, if not the entire country. Meet us, tell that would us. be the one. <laughs> On a trip back to the 80s with a pop star and problems only this decade could dream up. Mecca spokesperson told me tonight they took calls all day from ticket holders who were worried that their tickets might not be legit when they showed up tonight. Meanwhile, OPD tells us it won't know exactly how many people may have been targeted by scammers until both concerts are over this weekend. We want to say we did not see anyone turned away this evening and we were here most of the night. Reporting live at the CenturyLink, Kelly Bartnick, Action 3 News.